Well, folks, we got two very special guests today from all the way from Belgium. My friend Peter, my best one of my best friends, Peter, actually lives. Peter Goetz lives in, in Belgium. What a cool guy. One of the smartest people I've ever met in my entire life. But anyway, guys, folks, listen, hit the pause button. Go over to Rumble and make sure you subscribe. We're trying to build a huge database there, and it's working. We're actually growing by 40, 50 people a day. We're growing faster on Rumble than we are on YouTube. YouTube wants to continue to do their thing. It's okay. It's fine. We could, you know, we have choices in our lives, right? It's all about free will. So don't forget also to share us on your social media, okay? And uh, also the merchandise. I know that I'm not wearing the merchandise, but this is, you know, this is a shirt that I normally wear when I drive my doom buggy, okay? Uh, it's a motocross by a shirt. But uh, don't forget, you got to decorate yourself with Jasara and Asara, XRP, XLM, Stellar, et cetera. You want people to ask you questions. You guys are on the front lines. You guys are the digital soldiers. You guys are the guys that are going to create the awareness. You guys are the guys that are going to send everybody where? To QFS1776.com. The first month that website got launched, it got 376,000 hits. True story. Okay. So anyway, um, I'd like to welcome these guys. These guys have something that's very unique, guys. So listen very carefully. We're talking about retailers being able to accept Lumens Pay. XLM. Okay. I know that we could do XRP. I have some questions. I'm going to pose like I'm you guys. I'm going to try to get inside your brain and going to ask these guys some questions because at the end of the day, what do I know? I'm just a pizza guy. Right. All right. So guys, uh, we got Walter and we got Mark and they're all the way from Belgium. And the name of the, the, the uh, website is lumenspay.com. Welcome yeah. guys. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Mel. Thank Who you. wants to start? Mark is going to start. Oh, you're going to let me start. Okay. Great for having us. Thank you so much. Um, really appreciate it. We came up with, um, we had an issue in Belgium. We wanted to um, make XLM a more, um, how do you say that? You, useful uh, coin in, 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 uh, in Belgium and bring awareness about uh, crypto and XLM to people. And um, we have all these shop owners that, um, need to collect in Belgium digital payments or how do you say that electronic payments you know with yeah. bank card you're not allowed to pay in cash anymore sure and so we were looking for a way to um, exchange euros to XLM in an easy way instead of let the shop owner calculate it in their head and then ask for a take out their lobster wallet put in the lobster the XLM amount show it to the customer and let him pay in, in XLM so that's why we came up with the idea of Lumens Pay. Um, it's a fiat to crypto wallet from five different fiat uh, currencies right now uh, to XLM. Uh, it's very easy to use. It's peer to peer, so no bankings are involved. Yeah, no banks. Um, no third parties. Nobody is collecting any data, so um, it's decentralized. Uh, that's the way we love it, um, and. It's very easy to use. We will give you a demonstration in a minute, so you can you can feel it and and see it for yourself how it how it works. The only fee you have to pay is the fee that you pay on the blockchain when you send XLM to somebody, and that's it. There are no fees from from Lumens Pay. Um, it's quick, as we are used from the Stellar network. It's a really quick network. It, I love it to I love to use it, and. Um, Right now, it's available in four languages, um, but we're going to expand that and we're going to make it available in uh, as many languages as possible and bring it out to uh, to the world. Sure. So the community can use it. And yeah, I have some questions. I mean, okay, I come, uh, I don't have any lumens. I have dollars. So I have whatever it is you use in Belgium. What kind of, what kind of money do you guys have in Belgium? Euros, right? Euros. Euros okay. Yeah. So I have euros. I want to pay somebody in XLM because there's, there's an ice cream shop that accept, accepts XLM. Uh, do I just, you know, what do, how do I, how does it work? Do I take my euros or my dollars, turn it into XLM and then pay the ice cream shop owner? Explain that, that process, please. You're going to need a lobster wallet or a wallet that has XLM on it. So you're going to need uh, XLM in your, in your wallet in order to use Lumis Pay. Got it. Um, it's, it's, quite easy to set up a lobster wallet but i don't suggest that you do it when you're in the ice, ice cream shop i suggest that you do it before. before you go to the ice cream shop 
um, just for security reasons. Um, but once you have a lobster wallet, it's it's very easy to to use the the. Okay, the, so uh, my game. my question is because we all know that XRP XLM is going to be worth a lot of money. So yep. people are not going to want to take, let's say, my I got a bag of XRP, hypothetically, 100,000 XRP. I don't want to touch that bag because that's my investment. Mm -hmm. So, But I want, I like ice cream. I want, ice cream is one of my favorite things to eat when I'm not on a keto diet, right? So the reality is I could buy some extra XL, XLM besides my bag that's my investment. Don't touch my investment. And I could use that for my ice cream, correct? Yeah. Correct. Perfect. Yeah. Keep going. Or you can buy it on lobster. Yeah. You can switch any uh, digit, uh, fiat currency to XLM on Lobster. You can have like you can have like a Ledger Nano X, and there you have like uh, ten thousand uh, XRP and ten thousand XLM on. You put uh, you just uh, do the transaction one hundred XLM from your Ledger Nano X, and you switch it to your uh, Lobster account or whatever uh, Stellar account you have uh, besides the uh, Ledger. And then you can, it's like, like a, a savings account and a, a account that you work with, you know, you, and, and you, you switch between both and then uh, you can use it. Interesting. You know, guys, I got to tell you, I went to their YouTube channel, right? And I clicked on it and I saw this young kid walking, talking in, in Dutch, right? I guess that's what you guys speak, Dutch, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, oh, that's the guy I'm going to be interviewing. So I said, oh, okay, it makes sense couple of young guys invented this thing. You know, a couple of guys are in their garage, got nothing better to do. Instead of wasting their, their time and energy on women, they created this app, right? So somebody swapped out the young guys for the old guys. I have no idea how the hell that happened, but here we are. I'm like, I wasn't expecting this. You guys grew a little bit since the last time I saw you. Yeah, you have been fooled by my son. He was walking through the screen. Yes, yes. But I had no idea what the hell he... He was talking about, so I forget, this guy is explaining the technology probably in his language. I didn't understand a word, obviously, so I don't speak Dutch. And I said, okay, that's the guy I'm interviewing. Turns out that these are the guys I'm interviewing. Yeah. <laughs> so, no problem. You've been fooled. You've been never fooled. a dull moment. Why don't you walk us through the application? Uh, who, who's going to do that, Mark or yeah, Walter? I will, I will do it. I will do it. Perfect. So I start uh, screen share. Yes. Uh, with the Safari. Share. You can see this? Yes. Yes. So this is the website, uh, the web application we are talking about, uh, www.lumenspay.com. And it automatically goes to the language you have uh, pre-installed on your computer. Right. Uh, for now, it's English, but you have Dutch, French, English, and German, you know? Uh, okay. We start with English now. We have a very, very beautiful catchphrase, and kudos to you uh, because I saw your show with uh, Ismail Perez. And here comes the catchphrase: "Here you can pay with quantum currency at intergalactic speeds," because we all know XRP, XLM, where it's coming from. You get yes. my picture, Ismail. Thank you for uh, the show with uh, Ismail. Um, here you put your your data. I, for instance, in this uh, company, uh, uh, I put uh, Mel's Pizza and Ice Cream Shop, you know? Perfect. Okay, this is the name of the company. I am supposedly the shopkeeper in this presentation. Here is the Stellar address. Everybody knows how to, to, uh, to put the Stellar address. This is the receiving Stellar address. You just go to your Lobster account. This is the Lobster account. You do receive, Stellar address, copy address, and then you paste it into your uh, LumensPay website. You do save my data and it makes a cookie on your computer. And that's the only data that is saved on the website. Perfect. Okay. So now you have here the currency. Um, for us, it's euros, but uh, in, your present, in the presentation we're doing with you, we use dollars, British pound, Canadian, Australian, and more currencies will be added later, okay? We use dollars. Okay, so you, Mel, you're going to uh, to the to ice cream shop, and for instance, uh, in this presentation, uh, you two, you take two scoops. You know, uh, two dollars. Excuse me, two dollars fifty, and you see immediately uh, every thirty seconds the website doesn't does a refresh, 
and you see the, the currency. So one XLM is at the moment 0 0.10 US dollar. And you see this two euro of $2.5 at the moment is 23.86 XLM. Okay. Now, uh, when I hit continue, you get a QR code. But first of all, let me say, you can also use this website for online sales. Like for instance, uh, something has to be sent by uh, UPS or whatever. And then you can add the name of the customer here, you know? But I will not do it for, for, uh, for at the moment. Uh, or I can do like Carmine. Well, you know, I hit the, the continue button and then you get a QR code and inside the QR code is already the, the, the amount of XLM. And this is a, like a summary, you see 2.5 USD. Okay. And now the, 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 the customer opens his wallet uh, on the iPhone or Android, whatever phone you have, maybe the Q phone in the future, you know, and you, you just, you just scan. You just scan the QR code and you pay. That's it. You're done. Yeah. I, I, I'm doing this right now, but some, so about something is in the way. Yeah. It's off screen. You get, you just sign your transaction. Okay. And I will show you how uh, that the transaction. Uh, so it creates a, a unique QR code every single time. Every it's single time. Yeah. I will show you right away. Got it. I, I hit continue. Uh, Test, zoom, well, send. So now the transaction is being signed. And me as a shopkeeper, I can close the this, this um, window. window and I can have a new customer. But I can also see now I go to my lobster and I go to transactions. And what happens here? Test zoom L, the transaction is already in my lobster account. You can see this? Yes, I can. And here you can see all transactions that is going today at 5.26. This is our local time. In real and time. So it happens like that, real fast. It happens real time. And it's peer to peer. It's from one blockchain. It's on the same blockchain, but from one wallet to another wallet. So every shopkeeper that wants to accept XLM has to open. A stellar address, a stellar wallet, you know? Yeah, and you know, the only thing that sucks is like you got a hundred thousand XLM that's your investment that you're not gonna touch. Then you got your couple of hundred dollars worth of XLM that you're gonna buy ice cream and pizza and sushi with, right? And then all of a sudden your XLM matures to whatever the 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 big number, the monster number, the final number is gonna be. And then you're gonna realize, holy shit, I spent two hundred dollars of XLM, that $200 would have been worth, you know, $20 million. <laughs> so yeah. you, you have bragging rights. You say, I ate $20 million worth of sushi and pizza and ice cream. That's amazing. Yeah, and at the same time, like the one that bought uh, uh, one pizza for a uh, 3.4 uh, Bitcoin. Exactly. Whatever. Like in the days, will be exactly. the same. Yes. It will be the same. And now you can see, you know, we can see you have, can have the, the transaction is, is, uh, is finished. And now we can have an, an, a new customer, for instance, with three, three euros and a new name. Interesting. This is exciting, guys. And you do, you do continue and you have a totally new barcode, next customer, next, next customer, and so on, and so on. So that was a little presentation. It is very simple, but that's the genius of it. Simple and secure. And it's very accessible. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't think you guys are going to have any uh, shortage of business. I know you guys are giving it for free and you're taking donations from what I understand. Yes. And, uh, but the reality is, I think uh, you're done with your presentation, right? Yeah, I will show you the donation button. The sure. donation button is, uh, uh, wait one second, right here. Donate XLM, I see it, yes. And then you can, you can like for instance, do one year, one dollar. And we accept donations just to keep the site up and running, not to make money. So you're giving it away for free, but if somebody feels like you, you did a great job and you're providing a service, they could give yeah. you a tip, which is yeah. nice. I think people should tip things that are of value. This is definitely of value. Thank you for donations. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, cool. 
Very, very cool. Um, you know, I, I think if there's anybody on planet Earth that I should be having the central bank digital currency conversation with, it should be you guys. <laughs> you know, you know, what is the beauty of this? We don't have intermediates anymore. We unbank with this system, we can unbank the people. And that's the that's the beauty of it. And I'm very happy, and Mark also, to be part of this. And like you said, when we talked before the Zoom, it is the, say it again, about the nail in the coffin. It's the, love, it, this, is the final, this is the final nail in the coffin to the banksters. It, you guys are finished. Throw in the <laughs> towel already. Where's the towel? Where, where's my towel? Throw in the <laughs> towel already. Throw it in. Just just give it up already. Come on. Right. Jesus. When I, heard you, when I heard you saying this, I get... I, I immediately send it to Mark. Uh, we had tears in our eyes. I love you saying this. Yes. Bank, nail coffin. Beautiful. Yes, absolutely. I mean, you look, why in the world does someone, it's not like the governments of the world are going to be able to, these people are losing all their power. Yeah. And, and it's, it's, it's in plain view. It's in plain sight. Anybody that has like three brain cells can figure this out. Yeah. You know, and the other thing that's beautiful, and um, we didn't realize this, but if you offer payment solutions in Belgium, you need to be a financial uh, institution and you need licenses and stuff like this. This is a way for people to pay somebody else without us being a financial institution. We don't need any license because we only offer the possibility to exchange something. So the, we, we, the only thing we, we offer the solution of the currency rate. We don't offer a, a, a financial solution. No. We offer a currency rate, like a calculator. That's the only thing we do. We, we are not financial institution. No. That's the beauty. So we don't need anything. Interesting. We don't need permission to do this. Guys, this is brilliant. This, this yeah. is exactly what's needed. Uh, hopefully, we can get you on a few other podcasts so that we can get the word out there. Because, listen... I hate the medical industry. I hate the petroleum industry. I can't stand the pharmaceutical industry. I want to kill them all. You know, it's like I, the gangster in me comes out. I want to kill them all, but I want to do it by doing the right thing, not the wrong thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know. Uh, we're living in glorious times. If you're bored, I'll send you some of my popcorn. <laughs> you know, this, this, these are indeed glorious times. Yes. We are changing the world. We One are person at a time, you know, guys, this is great. This is, uh, I'm getting chills talking to you guys because I, I know I've seen this years ago and people say, what are you talking about? The banks are never going to go away. They're too powerful. They're too rich. They got too much money. Because we give them power. Bingo. We, we allow, uh, we allow them to take our power and that's finished. Yeah. Exactly. We only uh, need more people. Yeah. We need right. to educate. Yeah, education we need to is the weapon. Yes. Education yes. is the weapon. The more people we educate, the people get the aha moment. I get it. Bingo. Then it's yeah. over. Yeah. When I'm talking to friends and family, they say, ah, is this safe? Is this safe? Uh, why don't you ask if JP Morgan is safe? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, exactly. it's, more, it's more difficult to, yeah. to hack the blockchain than to hack JP Morgan. But they yeah. don't question this. Yeah. How many people are using your app right now, currently? Uh, we, we just started. We you just, just started. started. Okay, good. Yeah. So my, my wife has a shop. Uh, she does organic fruit and vegetables. She's using it now. We made some stickers uh, and we're now promoting them. Uh, we had a Zoom with uh, uh, Quantum Brownie uh, this week, uh, uh, the week that, uh, uh, on Sunday. Good job. Today with you. And, and we're going forward for, for, from them. Uh, we have uh, bed and breakfast in, in, in Portugal, Casa Tuya. They starting to use them. Uh, some uh, shops, uh, uh, because as a matter of fact, I make, I make ice cream. Oh, you do? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, it's, it's a hobby that is get, getting out of hand. And I have a, a, a few customers, and they are starting to use it because I speak with them. You know, I'm not only selling ice cream, I'm also selling the XRP and the XLM uh, story. Absolutely. And, uh, and, and I, I just give them the sticker and then they get 
they get uh, interesting and they, they scan the QR code is is the the sticker is uh, this code you know and when, oh. they, when you scan when you scan the QR codes you go to the website bloomspay.com and they start asking questions and then we make introduction videos promotion videos uh, how to use it and they, and they all say so simple so simple yeah it's very simple it's really not that hard I mean yeah. even a pizza guy like me could figure it out you know we're like we're like the ultimate uh, dummy test you know it's like okay mel figured it out it's ready for world consumption right yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's easy but uh you know uh the reality is where where do we go from here guys i mean we're, we're living like i said in glorious times you see what's happening you're connecting the dots you're following my story am i crazy or am i crazy like a fox no you're not crazy at all i think you have a great vision on what's going on and what's going to happen i i think we're going to a better world where people get the power back to them and they are the power and they have uh, the means and the um the the possibility to um take over this world for the better for the good absolutely uh, yeah so, yeah but no, you're people are still distracted that. you know there's a lot of a lot of people that are very distracted unfortunately that's what it is yeah, yeah. and we we have to be patient you know as much as as much as I would like for this thing to be over tomorrow, you got to be you got to think with your feet on the ground. Yeah, you know it's what I mean. Not be over tomorrow, it's not yeah. going to be over next year. It's going to. There's 165 million people in the world that are involved with digital assets. That's it. 165 million. Yeah. Okay, and there's almost eight billion people in the world. So there's a lot yeah. of work to do. And not not everybody is doing the ISO 20020 uh, 22 coins. They uh, they are still doing the Bitcoin, the Ethereum, and all the other cabal. Uh, yeah, uh, coins, you know. Yeah. What do you What do you guys think of this crazy Bitcoin stuff and the Ethereum? Did they they I heard they merged. I heard they supposedly were able to become proof of stake. But I heard also that somebody said. The fees haven't changed. Wait a minute. If you went yeah. from proof of work to proof of stake and the fees haven't changed, maybe their proof of stake was not successful. I think I think so too. The the gas fees on Ethereum are gigantic. Gigantic. And when you change from proof of uh, work to proof of stake, it should like, be gone. It's it like free. Gone. It should be almost free. Yeah. Right? Like like when you when you uh, exchange XRP or XLM, it's zero point zero 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 one fee, and now with Ethereum, it's the same. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Did you hear that somebody yesterday purchased five hundred million dollars worth of XRP? Five hundred million US dollars. No. Yeah, that's why the price went up yesterday. Somebody, per but you know what? The price maybe should have jumped up a dollar. But it only jumped up two pennies because somebody's controlling it. Yeah. yeah. You know, I was born at night, but not last night, and my mama did not raise a fool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, we moved one, we we did a partnership months ago with some bank in the, I believe it was in the Middle East somewhere. Okay. Everybody was so there was some major news with the lawsuit that everybody. You know, they get everybody to look this way while there something's going on the other. One point eight trillion dollars. Rip partners up with a bank, and in one second, three seconds, we moved one point eight trillion dollar. One transaction. Yeah. And XRP doesn't move because they don't Impossible. put the word out. Impossible. Yeah. Yeah. You it's understand? Like, it's like gold and silver. Mel, okay, know. so I say, you know, we're in the Kabuki Theater. All right, we're enjoying the show. We got plenty of popcorn. I got, I got, you know, 10 years worth of popcorn. Whenever you guys are ready, we're here to collect. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So what do you guys do for fun in Belgium besides sell ice cream and, and create crazy apps that accept Lumens Pay? <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, uh we we uh we mark does uh yeah explain it. i advise people how to buy and where to buy gold and silver and um i set them up with the ledger nano x with um xlm and xl xrp on on it and i tell them put it away leave it there for five to seven years and then decentralized 
Yeah. Um, so take your man money out of the bank, put it in gold, put it in silver, put it in XLM and X XRP, and yeah. just hold on to it. Yeah. Uh, but I like I want to get your opinion on it, Walter and Mark. Uh, you know, I I'd like to have the opinion of the guys who created lumenspay.com, guys. You know, yeah. when when do you guys think this shit show is over? Seriously. Uh, it takes a long time to, to clean up the shit because we have been here in the shit for, I don't say 100 years, it is more. Much more than that. Much yeah. more than that. So you don't clean a house that has been uh, shit around for 1,000 years. You don't clean it in one day. Yeah. Not even in one weekend. But we, we start cleaning, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, I think we've, we've caused enough awareness some people are just starting now to scratch their head, you know? Yeah. It's going to take a while before everything is been cleared out, but, um, but we, we have started, we made the start and, and it's going the good, it's going in the good direction. It's, it's, it's uh, more, more and more people wake up more and more people ask me questions. Should I keep my money in the bank? What's going on with the bank? Um, I'm afraid. Uh, I don't know if I can trust the bank anymore. So yeah, more and more people start to wake up in Belgium. Which you is know, good. you know what I've been telling people: keep enough money in the bank to pay your bills for the next two, three months, and get the money out now. Yeah. Do it yeah. now. There's people two, months, in yeah. Palestine. <laughs> there's people going yeah. to the bank with a gun. They're going in yeah. in the bank with a gun. They're holding up the bank to take their own money out. Their own money, eh? Their, Their own, own money. money. They're not no, saying no give money. me the money from the bank. They say, I want my money, bitch. My money. Okay? This is <laughs> freaking crazy. crazy. Yeah. I saw the video also. It's yeah. crazy, yeah? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, these are just little tail signs of yeah. what's to come. You know? Yeah. They're just little. This is just the beginning, I think, you know? But I don't know. A lot of people are saying that Trump comes back. I know you guys are probably Trump fans over in Belgium. I know my friend Peter is. Uh, you know, the whole world knows what happened. You know, it is what it is. Not to get too political. YouTube hates it when I get political. Because I, yeah, yeah. I, I come over the target and people are like, oh, well, I think Bell's right. Yeah. You know. You know, another thing that we do, uh, like Mark is doing uh, silver and, go and gold. We also educate people in our own language. Because for a lot of people when they watch the YouTube channel uh, in English, it gets confusing. So we do like weekly and monthly face-to-face uh, uh, -face meetings. Right. We, we invite people and for no, no charge, we, we set them up with, uh, with a Ledger Nano. We use them, we learn them how to use lobster. and how to uh, lobster, uh, mm -hmm. how to, to uh, order on a safe way and put it on a non-custodial cold wallet like lobster like lobster or um, ledger yeah we do also yeah and we have a, like a channel for yeah. that and people ask questions and, and stuff like that and people get get to know yeah so you guys are in the same same boat as me the banks are done the people who have the power they're done this totally. is uh you know i think tim draper said it said it best when he was on stage with uh What's his name? Uh, the guy that's uh, the head of the lawsuit of the SEC with uh, Ripple, uh, Ginsler. Gary, that Gary guy. Ginsler. Yeah. Gary Ginsler. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so we'll see what happens. There's a lot of people out there that have been saying this for a long time. Kiyosaki, myself, I think I've become an authority on this stuff at this point. I think people are starting to say, well, I think the crazy man down there in Costa Rica, I think he might be onto something. Yeah, you better believe it. Yeah, better believe it. If you got any money, bet it on XLM and XRP and XDC. Get in now while you still can. The banksters are doing you guys a favor. The the you know the seven point eight billion people that are not here yet, they're doing you a favor. Get in now. Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're right. Absolutely right. Yeah. It's Buy it, put it on a hardware wallet, put the hardware wallet in your underwear drawer. Don't even look at it. Don't look at the price. It's a distraction. It's all manipulated. Yeah. When the party's over, you'll know. You know. You're going to wake up a millionaire or a multimillionaire or a multi-hundred millionaire or a multi-billionaire. Yeah. yeah. You know? Uh, we're, yeah, we're not talking about $10, $10 uh, a token. Yeah. Well, they don't, want, they don't want guys that look like me and you 
you know, they, they don't, it's, they can't, they really have a hard time coming to grips with reality, right? That people like me and you are going to be the next ruling class. Yeah. <laughs> Deal with it. You know? Yeah. So it, it's fun, guys. I'm having, I'm having a blast. I figured out how to take the new world odor, make a little bit of money, you know, give some people opportunities so they say they can stay above, uh, you know, positive cash flow, invest into XRP and wait and enjoy the movie while you're doing it. Guys, it was a pleasure. We're going to hit the pause button. We're going to say goodbye to the audience. Thank you for sharing the app with us. And yeah, thank uh, you for having us. Thank you. And hopefully you'll come back and see us again. We will. Bye-bye. Thank you.